Welcome to the era of AI. Hello there, and I failed to mention that when we remove the background, for example, if I scroll up and I click on the, not, not the custom removal, the auto removal part, and if we just remove the background, which is what's going on right now, it's processing, uh, we can go ahead and grab another video, right, from Pixabay. So we can go and search for a matrix video on Pixabay, um, call it matrix. It's just uh, going to put a matrix in the background. And if I were to scroll down, even though this is not the best way, I, I want to remind you, this is not the best way to remove a background, but it is a great way, all right? So let's say that you want to place this matrix in the back of the video. Well, first of all, first of all, download the video, okay? So you can click right here on download like this. All right, so let's just wait a second because obviously it, it, it should be downloading by now. All right, so it was downloaded, good. Now let's go back to CapCut for a second. Now we no longer have any background. And uh, we have basically removed the background with that particular uh, that particular element right there. Now it's okay, I just want to show you. I'm just going to leave it there. But here, if I just move back to the beginning and click on the import option, it created that beautiful background removal, which can be made better. But if I upload this scene right here, I could actually drag this scene and if I place it right on top, you can see I no longer, I, I don't appear, but if I do this trick, if I take this and place it right on top of the other, notice that right now, all of a sudden, I'm in the matrix. Hello there, and welcome into the ClickFunnels Mega. Now, of course, it's pretty slow, but normally when the video renders, it's not as slow as this, but you can see that now I'm no longer there, I'm in the matrix. So that's just one, one thing I would like, I wanted to show. Now let's go back to how you can generate captions for the video. Now in order to generate captions, click on text right here, and then you can basically add captions by doing the following, follow along pretty well. Now you either can click on text or click on captions. I'll only show you how you can do auto captions. If you wanna add your own captions, fine. You can add them manually by dragging a piece of text right here. But then you'll have to listen to every single thing being said in the video. So, for instance, we can listen to, let's just say, the first parts or the first couple of seconds of the video. So, if, for example, I go to the first seconds of the video and I just start listening. Now, placeholder text was added right there. And I can listen. Hello there. And now I said hello there, which means here I can write on this side. Hello there. But the problem is that this is manual. And I have to make sure I, I, I resize this to put it like this. I have to make sure that I go and choose a particular template by going to effects right here. And I'll have to choose a template that goes along with this particular caption and so on and so forth. So for example, if I go to effects, it's basically loading a uh, resource for us. And I can go and, ch and, and take one of the templates which is going to change the way this caption looks so for example if i pick one at random like this notice that right now the caption is different if i choose this notice what what happens and so you could choose any type of caption from here there's a lot so you can choose any one you like and then you can actually even resize this right you can resize it you can decide to put it at the bottom put it at the top but then again you'll have to do it manually and another great thing is that you can add an animation to the caption so there's an animation in and out Right, so animation in when the caption shows up and animation out when the caption doesn't show up anymore or, or, or there's another caption that's gonna show up in, instead of it. And you can choose any type of animation from here. There's a lot of animation animations. So for example here, uh, I can pick the typewriter. I just need uh, to wait to see, uh, to wait for this to load. So if I pick the typewriter animation, you can see that Hello there. it writes it as a typewriter. And I can also use the out. Uh, out animation for basically adding an extra animation at the exit. So if I add a glitch, you can and see that right now it's going to add a glitch when, like this, you can see the glitch over there for the animation, right, for the caption. But there is one better. I'll do you one better. There's actually auto captions. So if I click here on captions uh, or on text, in either of them, you'll find access to auto captions using this button. So if you can click on add uh, or auto captions, and you can choose the language which you want to add the captions in. So for example, English, 
and generate. And it's for free. And it's fantastic because it will add captions to your video without you having to do the hard work or the heavy lifting. You can just add captions and I can show you how you can also control the captions basically by changing the theme, uh, changing a couple of things about the captions. First thing you need to do before adding anything, any theme to your caption is by clicking right here on the captions option and then watching the captions for any mistake, any grammatical mistakes. Here it says, hello there and welcome into the ClickFunnels Mega Masterclass. This is not your regular course because this is an AI powered, uh, AI pow is powered by chat GPT, not Chad, chat GPT and it's attached, which means that we're going to utilize AI in this course. Okay, so now I corrected it. Now I can select all of the captions, go to text, click on effects, or templates actually instead of effects let's go for templates because templates are better and you'll see why in a second there's a lot of templates that you can choose from so for example you can pick this template or you can pick this template now you just have to watch out because there are free and pro templates now the pro templates can only be used by pro CapCut users so if you have the pro account you can use the pro templates but if you have the free account you can only use the free templates and for instance, if I were to scroll down, I can certainly find a pretty good free template that I can use for free. So for instance, if I keep scrolling, I'll definitely find something good that I can utilize. So let's say that, for example, I don't know, I'm just going to pick one. Okay, so we have a bunch. Let's say that you got interested in, say, um, this caption. If I click on the caption template, that will basically apply the template into our video. And so you can see that the caption is going to appear like that. But you can definitely change it anytime you want with another one, like this, for example, in which case it's going to change the caption to another. And the good thing about these captions is that they're so interactive and they add a pretty good look to the video, right? So uh, making sure that you add a good caption that matches the video, the colors, the brand, all right, so you can see it's adding over there. It, it could take some time. It could take a couple of seconds to a minute. All right, and as you can see, this is the new caption. And you can control the position of it. Just move your cursor pretty much anywhere here. So for example, if I move the cursor here, the captions are still selected. If they are deselected like this, you can always select them back like so. And then you can move this to the middle. And because you have selected all of them, all of the captions are also going to move to the middle. You can also select a caption individually and isolate it down like this, for example, in which case, as you can see, now it's going to be a bit different. So basically, when you uh, control the caption position, it also pretty much does that for the rest of them. Uh, if you got mixed up there, if you just take one of them and control the position of it, it will do that for the rest of them as well. So if I just isolate this particular caption and drag this here, it would actually do the same or place it in the same position as the others. So pretty much this is it when it comes to captions. In the next video, I'm going to introduce you to audio and music inside of CapCut, which are some, let's just say, assets that you can use before we can move on to the next videos in which I'm going to introduce you to effects as well as transitions. Stay tuned for the next videos.